Hi, this is Jack Slocum with Option Alpha. Today we're going to continue along in this journey of moving towards fully automating the trading that I'm doing within this video series. Today we're going to be creating another bot that I've had running in paper trading for about nine months and I'm ready to take it live. It's over here. As you can see, it's up $5,346 off of its original $5,000 allocation, which is over 100%. It's a pretty simple bot. If we take a look at how this bot is set up, uh, it has a set of symbols over here that it's scanning for. And what it does is it loops through those symbols and it looks to see is the current RSI 14 value above a configurable high RSI setting, which I currently have set at 70. And if it is, then it opens a short call spread trade idea from trade ideas. And if it isn't, then it checks, is it below a configurable low RSI setting, which I have set to 30. And if it's below that RSI setting, then it opens a short put spread trade idea. So the idea here is around mean reversion that anytime that the stock happens to be overbought, then we're gonna sell a short call spread assuming it's going to lower. And anytime the stock is oversold, then it's gonna open up a short put spread trade idea. So we'll go over the details of the open position actions when we actually build it. We're gonna build it step by step like we did in the last video. And if you watched the last video, we'll catch up here on what's been going on with that bot. Um, it has stopped trading over the last few days. So volatility has dried up and this bot is definitely aggressively looking for opportunities to get in with a very high reward risk. I'm currently testing a couple different variations of it where I'm adding in some debit spreads for when volatility drops. As soon as I'm done testing those and I figure out which one works best, I'll go ahead and publish that as an update for this template, which is currently available in the Option Alpha community. So if we look here, it's traded a total of four positions so far. It's two and two, but the reward risk is the key thing here is even though it's only won 50% of its trades, because it's getting into trades where the reward risk is favorable, ultimately it's made a little bit of money, $318 so far in the last two weeks. So I'll keep you updated on this one. Let's go ahead and start building out this bot. First thing I'm going to do is click on new bot and I'm going to start with an empty bot. The name I have for it is Rev Ninja ETFs. And I'm going to set it up to trade live in my trade year account. I'm going to give it $2,500 real money. Come here to the bot settings and now let's go ahead and get this bot set up. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do to build this bot is set up the bot symbols. And I'm going to click edit watch list here. I'm going to select a custom list of symbols and I've already copied the symbols from the other bot so we can paste them in. I'm not going to sort them. We're just going to go ahead and add them. And now the bot has some symbols that it's going to be working with. The next thing I'm going to do is click this add automation button. I'm going to select a new automation. I'm going to type in entry scanner as the name. And the first thing we're going to do is set it up to loop the bot symbols. So the symbols that we just set up, it's going to work through each one of those symbols one by one and check for our conditions. And the first check that we're going to do is, is the symbols, it's already set up, RSI above a configurable value. And now I personally want to be able to set this value adjust it because the lower it is, the more frequently it trades and the higher it is, the more strict it is about what trades it gets into. So if I can set that up from outside this automation, that'd be great. So in order to do that, I'm going to create an input. I'm going to click to add the input to the automation. I'll say high RSI is the signal. The default value is going to be 70. Right? And now we can set that value from outside this automation and it'll work as a variable. I'm going to click here. And the next thing I'm going to do is say open trade idea. And what I want it to do is I want it to find a short call spread. So I'm going to click here. And if you remember, we had a range here of five days to 23 days. And the position size, I'm also going to make that into an input so I can set it from outside. Um, we'll leave the default value at one contract for now. The price, I'm going to set it up the same as the other bot was. 
Exit options will also set up to be configurable from outside, but I'll set it up with the defaults of what I was using in the last one, which was 40% with fast exits. And wait at least one day to avoid pattern day trading. Let's go ahead and set that up. All right. Entry criteria. Bot has enough available capital. Bot has less than five current open positions and bot has opened less than two new positions per day. So what I don't want is for the market to sell off or to go spiking up and a whole bunch of positions all get opened in one day. I'll allow the bot to open up to two positions per day. And then I only want it to open one position per symbol at a time. I'm also going to make it so that it will not trade if the VIX goes above 35. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this up the same as I had it configured in paper trading. Um, which is alpha is greater than 5%, reward risk ratio is greater than 60%, probability of max profit is greater than 50%. And that, I believe, is it. Sorted by alpha, and we're good to go on our very first leg of the open symbol trade idea. And I'm actually going to edit this to short call spread. Idea. Then if the symbol's intraday RSI is not above the high RSI, we're going to go ahead and check is it below the low RSI value. So symbol RSI is below and we'll create another input. Low RSI, we'll set the default value to 30. Once again, this acts as a variable that we can set from outside this automation. Now, if the symbol's intraday RSI 14 value is below the low RSI setting here, we're gonna open a short put spread trade idea. So I'm gonna come here, open short put spread. Expiration is gonna be the same, five to 23 days. Position size, we're gonna use the same position size. Exit options, we're gonna use the same exit options. Same price here, we're gonna go through 75% of the bid ask spread. Entry criteria, bot has enough available capital. Bot currently has less than five positions. Bot is open less than two positions per day. And bot has less than one open position with symbol. The VIX is below 35. Alpha is greater than 5%. Reward risk is greater than 60%. Probability of max profit is greater than 50%. And we're good to go. Do the same thing here. Put spread. And there we have our scanner. So I'll click here. Let's just test this real quick. Start test. There we go. So it works. All right, we'll save that. We're going to schedule it to run as a scanner. It's going to run all day long. Here's our settings. I'm going to actually set this up to up to $500 of risk per position. Save. All right, so there we have that set up. I'm going to set it to every one minute. And if you didn't hear, as part of our new release, which we released yesterday, this one minute scanning is now available for free to everyone. You don't have to purchase our supercharger package. Basically every single bot that you have, paper trading or live, now has access to set one minute scanning. You can have this bot scan for new positions or manage your existing positions. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a monitor that monitors whether the RSI value has reverted back below 50. And if it has, we're gonna go ahead and close the position. But before we do, we gotta correct one thing that I did not do in here. So on this short call spread, this is the high RSI position. So we're gonna give it a tag, high RSI. There we go. And this one is the low RSI position. So we're gonna give it the tag, low RSI. All right, that'll give us a tag on this position that we can check to see, hey, is this a high RSI position? In which case we're looking for it to revert below 50. But if it's a low RSI position, then we're looking to see, did it revert back above 50? 
All right, so let's go ahead and add this monitor, new monitor, the rev monitor, we'll call it. It's gonna loop through all of the bot's positions. Next, we're gonna check, does the position that it's currently looping through, does it have the high RSI tag? Yes, it does. Then, if it does, then we're gonna check whether or not the RSI value for that particular position. And we can use this repeat for each position, not only outputs the current position that we're on, but it also outputs the underlying symbol of that position. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. And we wanna check, has it reverted to below 50? And if it has, then we're gonna close that position. And we're gonna allow it to go through, let's say 80% of the bid ask on a closing trade. Quantity 100% of the position. RSI reverted below 50. Then we're going to check if the position is a low RSI position and if the RSI for that position has reverted to above 50. All right. And if it has, then we're going to close that position. Close position. 80% of the bid ask. Above 50. And we're good. All right, so we have our monitor here. Let's go ahead and save that. We're going to schedule it as a monitor, which is going to check every one minute to see has the RSI reverted. And if it has, it's going to close those positions. And so the last thing that we have to do is turn this bot on. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up with a custom icon up here. And I'm going to go with, since it's the Rev Ninja, I'm going to go with the Ninja Star. There we go. So we have our next live bot. Again, this is based on a bot over here. I'll show you. Overall returns have been pretty solid. It did have a few periods where it didn't trade a lot. I would imagine volatility just wasn't there. We are currently in another low vol position. Um, it has two positions open that it's traded right now though, so I'm hoping this one will also start trading pretty much immediately. We'll see. It just ran its first entry scanner. Looks like nothing is above or below the high or low RSI values right now, so we'll have to check back in. I'll do that in a future video. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do again here today, if you've been following along in this video series, is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna sponsor another kid. So we've, as part of this video series, as my bots make profit, I wanna give back, and we currently have two children that we're sponsoring, and we're gonna go ahead and sponsor another one based on the results that I've had with Peggy Bank. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna take a look. Let's say we go up to the age of six. And uh, how about we go with Columbia today? And we're gonna pick a girl. All right, it's a pretty big list here. Um, all right, we just did our new release yesterday. So let's go ahead and pick August 19th. All right, so it looks like we have Maria here. That filtered it down. Let's go ahead and sponsor Maria. Continue. And boom, we just sponsored Maria. So that's three children we have as a part of this series. Very grateful God has blessed me with the ability to sponsor these children. Um, on behalf of the Option Alpha team, we love you guys. Thank you for watching and being a part of this. God bless.